Hey guys, Jeff with JU Fabworks here. Today we're going to be doing another video on rear tie down points for the Kubota BX series years 2005 to current. So if you have a, a BX in between those years and you do not have a backhoe, you're going to want to check these out. These things just make hooking up your tractor to the trailer so much faster and safer. It, it really is amazing. So stay tuned. Alright guys, here are the rear tie-down points for the Kubota BX series 2005 to current. Just wanted to give you a quick look here and what they look like. This is the left and right sides. These will come with longer and stronger grade 10.9 bolts for the installation. We have our Kubota BX 2670, I believe it's a 2017 model in the back. We're going to get it out and do an install on these. So let's do it. All right, guys, we have our Kubota BX2670 here, and we're going to be doing an install on the rear tie down points for this tractor. As you can see, we already have the, uh, the one on the left side complete, um, but they're exactly the same procedure on this side. So we'll kind of give you an up close look here what you're going to be looking for all these are the same basically year 2005 to current you're going to be looking for this bolt right here and then that bolt right there you're going to want to remove those two bolts with a 19 millimeter uh, socket or wrench just completely back those out because you're not going to be using those uh, the new bolts that are provided are going to be about a half inch longer and they're going to be stronger they're going to be grade 10.9. Um, give you a look here. On the back side, as you can see, the, the nuts are actually welded on from the back side, so that's nice. You don't have to worry about holding them with, uh, with a wrench or anything while you're backing out the bolts. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot of room right here in between the frame and the tires, the rear tires. So, you know, depending on what tools you're using, you might want to remove the tires to make it easier. We're just going to be using, um, you know, a ratchet, so it's going to be perfectly fine. Um, we'll give you a quick look here at basically the tools we're going to be using. Uh, these flex heads ratchets, if you have one of these, these are going to, uh, you know, work out a lot nicer in our situation here. Along with uh, a ratchet wrench, it's going to work nice. And we have a, a torque wrench. We're going to want to torque the bolts to 100 foot pounds when we're done. And uh, that's about it, guys. Let's uh, we'll give you a quick visual here. If I grab this and kind of just hold it up there. So basically, it's it's going to go on there just like that. So, all right, let's get started. All right, guys, so start. I'm going to use a 19 millimeter socket. We're going to remove these back bolts, these two back bolts. Just go ahead and get them out as far as you can. Like I said, the, the rear tire is right there, so you don't have a whole lot of room. Just back them out as far as you can with the rat. going to use our ratchet wrench should be able to get them by hand now so there's your your two uh, factory bolts grab our tie down point here now the the new bolts are you're going to use a 22 millimeter socket just go ahead and slide one lock washer on the bolt just like that You just go ahead and thread them in by hand to start. Make sure you're not cross threading it or anything. Just 
Get them in there as far as you can. And this, this is where these flex heads are really nice for this job. Go ahead and tighten these down. Basically just get them snug here. And then we're going to uh, torque these to 100 foot-pounds. And I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but right where 100 is right there, right where the zero lines up, we're exactly at 100 foot-pounds. This is just your standard uh, half-inch drive torque wrench. socket in there. Basically you're just going to wait for the wrench to to give way or it's going to make a little click sound. There we go. And we'll do the bottom. There we go. All done. All right, guys. Now that we got these installed, we just I just want to show you really quick. Uh, probably the two most uh, common ways to strap these down. These are very popular uh, heavy-duty straps. Um, I would say this would be a, a very popular choice for, for tying your tractor down to your trailer. Um, especially for a small tractor like this, I think these would work just fine. And also, this is a 3 8 chain. You know, a lot of guys love using chains, and I don't blame them. You really can't go wrong with chains. Very strong, you know, with a strap you got to worry about the um, actual material, material tearing or, or rubbing on something. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to mention uh, when we designed these, the, the cutout for the tie down. Um, you know, most guys are probably going to um, run it like this and then tie down to your trailer. Um, but this hole is big enough if you wanted to run this all the way through. Um, and then come back to your trailer or you can, you know, hook it to the chain like this and then go back to your trailer. You can do, do all those. And also with the uh, with the J hook here on your strap, uh, you can run it like this, or if you wanted to, you can you can run it all the way through. You know, and then uh, you know, go back to your trailer or, or whatever. But we just wanted to mention that we made this cut out large enough so you can go all the way through if you if you chose to and these are also going to be formed at the perfect angle to avoid contact with your rear tire and your three-point arms all right guys we have our rear tie down points installed and ready to go we want to thank you for for watching and Please like and subscribe to the channel. We're going to try and do videos on all of our products at some point to give you guys an idea of how they install and, and you know how they work. So you can check us out on our website at www.jufabworks.com. We'll leave a link in the description for this product and also our, uh, our main webpage. So, all right, guys. See you on the next one.